Welcome to part two of the IntelliCut AeroCut Edition custom template training series. In this video, we will walk through how to easily create custom templates for the AeroCut and add them to your IntelliCut template library. IntelliCut is AeroCut smart and makes creating AeroCut templates easy and efficient with its groundbreaking and proprietary Smart Layout Assistant technology. This guarantees that any job you create automatically meets all AeroCut layout requirements without you having to do a thing. Let's get started. To begin, open your IntelliCut software to view the welcome menu. When creating any new job, whether it is a preset template, a custom template you've created in the past, or a brand new custom AeroCut template, Start by selecting the New Job button. Here, you will find a list of all existing preset and custom AeroCut templates you've created previously. Easily find the template you are looking for by using filters to sort by template type, paper size, and keyword search. To create a new template, Simply select the custom template line item, which will always be the first option of any template type. When creating your custom template, be sure you have selected the most appropriate template type for your job, as this is where the template will be saved. For example, today I would like to create a custom rack card layout. So I will select template type rack card, then I will select custom template and press next. This will save the template I am creating under the rack card template type. At the end of this video, we will revisit this section and locate the custom template that we have created. The first screen that appears will prompt you to name the template. As this is the name that will appear in both your IntelliCut library and on the AeroCut itself, it is recommended to name the template something descriptive of the job specifications that will be easy for you to find again the next time you want to create a print file for this job. Naming the template based on the paper size and the document size is a good rule to follow. For this job, I will enter 3.75 by 8.5 with bleed on 13 by 19. The second piece of information to enter on this screen is the Manuset number. The AeroCut memory allows for saving of up to 100 custom templates simultaneously. Each custom template is saved under a slot numbered 1 to 100. This selection is important because it ensures you do not overwrite existing templates, and it also guarantees that the appropriate barcode is placed onto your print file document for automated finishing. IntelliCut makes this selection process easy by allowing you to click the Select from List button. By clicking this button, you are given a menu that is directly communicating with the AeroCut through network connection, showing you which slots are free and the names of templates that have been previously saved. You can select a free slot or select a spot of a template that you wish to overwrite if it will not be used again in the future. If your AeroCut is not currently network connected, reference your AeroCut Manuset interface to see available slots. Once you have selected your Manuset number, press Next to move to the Page and Paper Sizes menu. Here, you will be presented with the ability to enter all of your job requirements, including page format, one-sided document simplex, or two-sided document duplex, paper size and orientation, document size and orientation. It is always recommended that you set and maintain the document orientation to correspond with the orientation of your artwork.
Document Bleed Settings. Once you have entered in all desired custom template values, press Next to view the Smart Layout Assistant results. Here, you can see the multi-up setting results calculated by the Smart Layout Assistant to be most optimal for the AeroCut. These settings are for referential purposes, and it is highly recommended that no changes are made. Sometimes, by changing the paper orientation, your layout will result in a higher number of multi-upped documents. To test this, you can always go back and change page and paper size settings to see how it affects the template multi-up settings. For example, the software indicates that I will receive four documents laid out multi-up. By pressing back and modifying my paper orientation, then pressing forward again, the template multi-up settings now indicate that I will receive six documents laid out multi-up. I will keep these settings as I would prefer to have more documents laid out on the page. On the final screen, press Finish to save this template in your template library. The software will now prompt you to create a PDF job based on the template you have just saved. We will cover this in the next video. Before we move on, I'd like to demonstrate how to locate this template again for future use. Because it has been saved in the IntelliCut template library, you will not need to go through the creation process again. Simply open the New Job menu. Set the appropriate template type. For this job, Rack Cards template type was used. Custom templates are always saved at the bottom of the preset template list. These templates can also be filtered by paper size or keyword.